the galaxy thrived in an era of peace and prosperity, with various civilizations coexisting and trading knowledge and resources. The Galactic Federation, an alliance of the most advanced species, maintained order and facilitated progress across countless star systems. This harmonious existence seemed unbreakable until the arrival of the Zaraxians. Emerging from the fringes of the known universe, the Zaraxians were a formidable force. Their technology surpassed anything the galaxy had ever seen, and their ruthless nature left no room for negotiation or mercy. The Zaraxian invasion began with a swift and brutal assault on the outer planets. Entire worlds were reduced to ruins within days, their populations enslaved or exterminated. The Federation's defenses crumbled in the face of the Zaraxians' advanced weaponry and strategic prowess. Planet after planet fell, each one a stark reminder of the Federation's impotence. Desperate broadcasts from besieged worlds painted a grim picture. Cities burned, skies darkened by Zaraxian warships, and the anguished cries of the enslaved. The galaxy, once a beacon of civilization, was now on the brink of total collapse. The Galactic Federation, accustomed to dealing with internal disputes and minor external threats, found itself utterly unprepared for this onslaught. The Federation's War Council, comprised of the most esteemed military leaders and strategists, convened in a state of panic. Their discussions were fraught with tension as they reviewed the catastrophic failures of their defense strategies. Advanced simulations, once their greatest asset, proved useless against the unpredictable and relentless Zaraxian tactics. The Council's debates grew increasingly desperate, highlighting the stark reality. Their combined might was no match for the Zaraxians. In this hour of need, an unlikely solution emerged. Buried in the archives was data on Earth, a planet inhabited by humans, a species considered primitive but known for their resilience and resourcefulness. Some council members scoffed at the idea of seeking help from such an unsophisticated species. However, as options dwindled, the proposal gained traction. Humanity's history of overcoming insurmountable odds, their adaptability, and their strategic ingenuity became the Federation's last hope. A decision was made, envoys would be sent to Earth to request their assistance. The journey to Earth was fraught with uncertainty. The envoys, chosen for their diplomatic acumen and bravery, embarked on a high-stakes mission that could determine the fate of the galaxy. As their vessel approached Earth, the envoys were met with a mixture of curiosity and skepticism by the planet's leaders. The initial contact was tense, with Earth's governments wary of the unknown aliens requesting their help. However, the gravity of the situation soon became apparent. Presentations of the devastation wrought by the Zaraxians, coupled with urgent pleas for assistance, began to sway Earth's leaders. They saw not only the desperation in the envoy's eyes but also the opportunity for humanity to rise to the occasion and secure a place among the galaxy's great powers. After intense deliberations, Earth's leaders agreed to form a coalition, recognizing the potential for mutual benefit. The decision marked the beginning of an unprecedented alliance with humans preparing to bring their unique strengths to bear against the Zaraxian threat. The stage was set for a new chapter in the galaxy's history, one that would see humanity emerge as an unexpected but formidable force. The selection process for the human vanguard was rigorous and thorough. Earth's leaders, understanding the gravity of the mission, handpicked the best military leaders, scientists, and diplomats. The selection criteria were strict. Only those with proven expertise exceptional problem-solving skills, and the ability to work under extreme pressure were chosen. Among the selected were General Marcus Kane, a brilliant strategist known for his unconventional tactics, Dr. Elena Martinez, a top scientist specializing in advanced technologies and cybernetics, and Ambassador Sarah Takeda, a seasoned diplomat with extensive experience in interstellar relations. General Kane brought a wealth of battlefield experience, and a keen strategic mind. His reputation for turning the tide in seemingly hopeless situations made him an ideal leader for the vanguard. Dr. Martinez, with her deep understanding of both human and alien technologies, was tasked with bridging the technological gap between Earth and the Galactic Federation. Ambassador Takeda, with her diplomatic acumen, was crucial in managing the delicate relationships between the diverse species within the vanguard and the Federation. 
These key members, along with their teams, formed the core of the human vanguard, a group destined to change the course of the war. The training and preparation phase was intense. The vanguard had to integrate human ingenuity with alien technology, creating a hybrid approach to warfare. Training camps were set up both on Earth and in allied alien territories, where human soldiers and scientists worked side by side with their alien counterparts. This phase involved rigorous physical training, advanced technological education, and simulated combat scenarios designed to prepare the team for the unpredictable nature of their enemy. Human soldiers learned to operate alien weapons and vehicles, while scientists collaborated on developing new hybrid technologies. As training progressed, strong bonds began to form between the human and alien members of the vanguard. These bonds were crucial for fostering trust and cooperation. Joint exercises and shared living quarters helped break down cultural barriers, creating a sense of camaraderie and mutual respect. Language barriers were overcome through advanced translation devices, and shared experiences and training forged a united team ready to face the Xeraxian threat. Despite the progress, the initial challenges were significant. The cultural and technological differences between the species created friction. Humans found some alien technologies difficult to understand, while aliens struggled with human tactics and methodologies. There were moments of mistrust and frustration, exacerbated by the high stakes and pressure of the situation. However, the determination to succeed and the recognition of a common enemy helped the team overcome these challenges. Through constant communication, team-building exercises, and a shared goal, the Vanguard gradually transformed into a cohesive unit. The first mission briefing was a pivotal moment for the Vanguard. They were tasked with gathering intelligence on Xeraxian technology, a mission critical to developing effective countermeasures. The briefing was detailed and thorough, outlining the objectives, potential risks, and strategic importance of the mission. General Kane led the planning using his expertise to devise a strategy that maximized their strengths and minimized risks. Dr. Martinez provided insights into the technological aspects, identifying key targets for data extraction. Ambassador Takeda ensured that the mission plan considered the diverse strengths of their alien allies. Preparation for the mission involved meticulous planning and coordination. The team analyzed every piece of available intelligence, ran multiple simulations, and prepared contingency plans for various scenarios. Equipment was checked and rechecked, ensuring everything was in perfect working order. The Vanguard knew that the success of this mission could significantly impact the war effort, and they approached it with the seriousness and dedication it deserved. As they prepared to embark on their first mission, the Vanguard stood united, ready to face the challenges ahead and prove that humanity was a force to be reckoned with in the galaxy. The human vanguard's first mission was a daring infiltration into a heavily fortified Xeraxian-controlled planet. The team used stealth and precision to slip past the formidable Xeraxian defenses. General Kane's strategy focused on guerrilla tactics, exploiting the Xeraxian's over-reliance on technology and rigid structures. The vanguard operated in small, agile units, moving swiftly through urban ruins and dense forests avoiding direct confrontation while gathering crucial intelligence. They hacked into Xeraxian systems, extracting valuable data on enemy movements, weaponry, and strategic weaknesses. The mission was a success, and the Vanguard returned with information that would prove vital in the coming battles. Back on their base, the Vanguard began developing hybrid weapons, merging human ingenuity with alien technology. Dr. Martinez led the efforts, using the intelligence gathered to design weapons that leveraged the strengths of both species. They created energy rifles with adaptable firing modes, combining human versatility with alien energy sources. Armor suits were enhanced with alien shielding technology, providing superior protection without sacrificing mobility. These innovations underwent rigorous testing in controlled environments and small skirmishes. Soldiers trained extensively with the new weapons, learning to maximize their effectiveness in various combat scenarios. Each test refined the designs, making them more reliable and deadly. The Vanguard's new tactics and weapons soon led to strategic victories. In a series of coordinated assaults, they liberated several key planets, disrupting Xeraxian supply lines and communication networks. 
these early successes boosted morale across the galaxy, proving that the Zaraxians were not invincible. The humans' adaptability and strategic brilliance shone through, with each victory showcasing their ability to outthink and outmaneuver the enemy. These victories were not just tactical but also symbolic, igniting hope and resilience among the oppressed species. The sight of humans leading the charge inspired many to join the fight, bolstering the resistance forces. Recognizing the need for a united front, the vanguard focused on forming alliances with other oppressed species. Ambassador Takeda played a crucial role, using her diplomatic skills to build trust and cooperation. These alliances were based on mutual benefit, sharing technology, intelligence, and strategies. Alien species brought their unique strengths to the table, enhancing the coalition's overall capabilities. Joint training sessions and cooperative missions fostered a sense of unity and purpose. The combined forces of the allied species and the human vanguard created a formidable resistance, ready to challenge the Xeraxian dominance. This united front marked a significant turning point in the war, demonstrating that collaboration and innovation could overcome even the most formidable adversaries. The human vanguard, bolstered by their early successes and new alliances, turned their focus to a major offensive aimed at liberating key planets from Xeraxian control. Strategic planning was meticulous, involving extensive coordination with the Galactic Federation and allied species. General Kane led the planning sessions, using intelligence gathered from previous missions to identify weaknesses in the Xeraxian defenses. The plan involved simultaneous strikes on multiple fronts, designed to overwhelm the enemy and disrupt their command structure. Every detail was considered, from logistics to timing, ensuring a coordinated effort that maximized the impact of the offensive. As the offensive commenced, battles erupted across the targeted planets. The vanguard's tactics, honed through rigorous training and previous engagements, proved highly effective. Human-led units demonstrated exceptional adaptability, using terrain and unconventional strategies to their advantage. In urban environments, they employed guerrilla warfare, ambushing Xeraxian patrols and sabotaging supply lines. In open combat, they utilized hybrid weapons to outmaneuver and overpower the enemy. The combined forces of the vanguard and their allies pressed forward, reclaiming territories and freeing oppressed populations. Each victory sent ripples of hope throughout the galaxy, revitalizing the morale of those who had long suffered under Xeraxian rule. The success of the offensive came at a cost. Many members of the vanguard made significant personal sacrifices risking their lives and enduring hardships to achieve their goals. Stories of bravery and sacrifice emerged, building emotional depth and a strong connection to the characters. General Kane, for example, personally led a critical assault, sustaining injuries that showcased his dedication and valor. Dr. Martinez and her team worked tirelessly under fire to keep advanced technology operational, often at great personal risk. These sacrifices underscored the high stakes of their mission and the unwavering resolve of the Vanguard members. As the resistance gained momentum, more species joined the fight against the Xaraxians. The growing coalition brought new resources, strategies, and enthusiasm to the cause. The increasing strength and unity of the resistance began to overwhelm the Xaraxians, who found themselves facing mounting opposition on multiple fronts. Desperation set in among the Xeraxian leadership as they struggled to adapt to the relentless pressure. Their previously unchallenged dominance began to erode, signaling a shift in the balance of power. The tide of the war was turning, and the hope of a free galaxy grew stronger with each passing day. Within the Vanguard and the Galactic Federation, suspicion began to grow about the presence of a potential traitor. Unexplained setbacks and precise enemy counterattacks hinted at insider information being leaked to the Xaraxians. This suspicion bred tension and paranoia, affecting the effectiveness of missions and straining the bonds between team members. Accusations and mistrust began to surface, disrupting the once cohesive unit. General Kane and Ambassador Takeda faced the challenge of maintaining unity while discreetly investigating the source of the betrayal. The atmosphere became charged with unease as every setback was scrutinized for signs of sabotage. The investigation to uncover the traitor was meticulous and thorough. Intelligence officers and trusted allies worked tirelessly, analyzing communication records, mission logs, and personnel files. 
After weeks of relentless effort, they identified a high-ranking Federation officer as the informant. The officer, under interrogation, revealed the shocking truth. The Zaraxian's ultimate goal was an ancient artifact hidden on Earth. This artifact, known for its immense power, had the potential to turn the tide of the war decisively in favor of whoever possessed it. The revelation sent shockwaves through the Vanguard and the Federation, intensifying the urgency of their mission. The artifact's significance lay in its ability to manipulate energy on a massive scale, effectively granting its holder unparalleled power over matter and energy. Legends spoke of its creation by an ancient, advanced civilization, now long gone. The Zaraxians' pursuit of this artifact was driven by their desire to solidify their dominance and potentially reshape the galaxy in their image. For the Federation and the Vanguard, the artifact represented both a great danger and a potential asset. Protecting it from the Zaraxians became a top priority, as its capture would spell disaster for the Resistance and the galaxy at large. Strategic planning for the final mission to Earth began immediately. General Kane, Dr. Martinez, and Ambassador Takeda worked closely with their counterparts in the Federation and allied species to devise a comprehensive plan. This mission required precision, speed, and absolute unity. Overcoming the internal conflicts caused by the betrayal was paramount. Team members set aside their differences, recognizing the critical nature of the mission. The plan involved a multi-pronged approach, securing the artifact, repelling Xaraxian forces, and ensuring Earth's protection. Every detail was scrutinized, and contingency plans were prepared for any possible scenario. The Vanguard, unified and resolute, prepared for their most crucial battle yet, ready to defend their home and the galaxy from the Xaraxian threat. The final battle on Earth was a climactic showdown, epitomizing the Vanguard's leadership and bravery. As Xaraxian forces descended upon Earth, the Vanguard executed their meticulously crafted plan with precision and determination. Human soldiers, equipped with hybrid weapons, fought alongside their alien allies, each maneuver carefully calculated to exploit the enemy's weaknesses. The air was filled with the sounds of intense combat, as energy blasts and explosions lit up the skies. On the ground, Vanguard units engaged in fierce close-quarters battles, their training and ingenuity proving crucial. General Kane coordinated the efforts, adapting to the fluid battlefield with strategic brilliance, ensuring that every move countered the Xaraxian's formidable tactics. The battle reached its zenith as the vanguard made their final push to defeat the Xaraxians and secure the ancient artifact. Amidst the chaos, moments of heroism and sacrifice stood out, as individuals risked everything to protect their comrades and achieve their objective. Dr. Martinez, leveraging her technological expertise, managed to deactivate crucial Xaraxian systems, turning the tide in favor of the vanguard. General Kane led a daring assault on the enemy's command center, while Ambassador Takeda facilitated critical communications between the Allied forces. The decisive moment came when the vanguard secured the artifact, neutralizing its potential use by the Xaraxians. The defeat of the Xaraxian leader marked the end of their reign of terror as the remaining forces were swiftly overpowered and neutralized. In the immediate aftermath of the victory, efforts were made to secure peace and order across the galaxy. The fall of the Xaraxians brought an end to the widespread devastation, allowing liberated planets to begin the process of recovery. Celebrations erupted across the galaxy, with humans being recognized for their crucial role in the victory. Ceremonies honored the bravery and sacrifices of the vanguard with memorials dedicated to those who gave their lives. The unity displayed in the final battle set a precedent for future cooperation, demonstrating that diverse species could come together to overcome even the most formidable adversaries. A new era of cooperation between Earth and the Galactic Federation was established. Humans, once underestimated, now held newfound respect and influence within the Galactic community. Their contributions were acknowledged in diplomatic and strategic circles, leading to stronger alliances and mutual support. Earth's technological advancements, combined with their unique strategic approaches, enriched the collective knowledge of the Federation. This era marked the beginning of a collaborative effort to ensure lasting peace and stability in the galaxy, with humans playing a central role in these endeavors. Reflecting on the journey, 
it was evident that the human contribution had been pivotal. The resilience, unity, and hope displayed by the vanguard and their allies had not only secured victory, but also paved the way for a brighter future. The themes of the struggle, resilience in the face of adversity, the power of unity, and the enduring hope for a better tomorrow, resonated throughout the galaxy, leaving a lasting legacy that would inspire generations to come. The story of the human vanguard became a testament to what could be achieved when disparate forces united for a common cause, embodying the spirit of perseverance and cooperation.